mousse au chocolat is a classic dessert. But what about serving it with beets, vinegar, and olive oil? The testing kitchen at the Sense for Taste agency has even more daring experiments going on. Savor chocolat mousse with freshly ground coffee, crispy fried onions, and breakfast bacon. This combination is possible because uh, chocolate, the onion, and the coffee, and the bacon share uh, molecules in common, flavor molecules in common. This duo in the Belgian town of Bruges is identifying foods whose tastes fit together and finding out why. Former acclaimed chef Peter Kukit and taste scientist Bernard Lahousse. Every food contains hundreds of chemical compounds that create taste. They've already discovered the secrets of thousands of ingredients. We try to analyze as much as possible uh, new ingredients. Um, and those ingredients we get from chefs who want to use new ingredients or from consumers who want to use a typical local ingredient. The analyses show the aromas present in different foods. From those findings, they've made a diagram. The taste tree shows which foods are chemically similar and combine well. Almond cookies with broccoli and clams. Banana and foie gras with passion fruit on a bed of chicken skin. Beef tenderloin with mushrooms on a cinnamon biscuit. Or a cocktail of beef bouillon, mustard, gin and wheat beer. The agency's customers include cooks, barkeepers and this man. A star among Belgium's chocolatiers, Dominique Pezun. He's been experimenting with unusual ingredients the past 12 years. Here, for example, we have a, a chocolate with wasabi, the Japanese spice. It's very hot, but it's exciting that you find it back. Uh, here I have a fried onion. So we take the big Spanish onion and we slice it, we mix it with flour, and then we fry it. It's really exciting for me to uh, work with uh, food pairing and to see all the combinations we can do. A trained chef, Pezun is only one of three chocolatiers who've captured a Guide Michelin star. When he's whipping up new chocolate creations, Dominique Pessoon relies on his intuition with help from scientific food pairing. So one of the flavors we find in the food tree of that chocolate is uh, mushrooms, sep. And I think it's really fun to make uh, a balance between that origin chocolate and sep mushrooms. So we have praline, this is a hazelnut praline here. And I'm gonna put some uh, chocolate. And now we have a dry powder of those sep mushrooms. I'm gonna put it in. Voila. And to give a little bit of freshness, and we also see on the food pairing tree, we have some sancho pepper. So we're gonna put it as well. The pralines with porcini nougat are ready. Dominique Pessoon sells his chocolates all around the globe, as well as in his own shop in his hometown, Bruges. But what do the exotic chocolates taste like to the shopper on the street? Somehow strange flavor. Bacon. Kind of a berry flavor. Crunchy. You, what is it? I don't know. Mushroom. Chocolate? Mm. That's interesting, new. Turkey and cranberries are great together, so put it in chocolate, be great. Yeah, I am surprised, but yes, really good. Bernard Lahousse and Peter Kukit would like their findings to have a positive influence on human eating behavior. We let people discover vegetables they, they don't like and, and the recipe they like, and so bit by bit, they, uh, they like to learn, or they learn to like uh, the, the combination. Yeah. So food pairing is a bit like life in general. What really counts is not love at first sight, but that the chemistry works well in the end.